Hello, my name is Per Jansson and I'm the Managing Director of Comtec. And I'm Stefan Setterström and I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager at Comtec. We would like to sort out the misconception that real casting is a new casting method. It is not. So in this video we're going to present a setup so you can understand the difference between high pressure die casting and real casting. So you can see that it's not a new casting process. Behind me you have a standard high pressure die casting machine. It's a Bule 800 ton B machine. Behind me we have a standard furnace that is holding the metal to its right temperature. Similar as you have in standard high pressure die casting. And to handle the melt in the slurry preparation, we're using a standard ABB robot. Yeah. And here's the only difference in the process of real casting in comparison to high pressure die casting. It's a slurry machine. It's a slurry maker producing a slurry in the same time as the casting machine is working. Meaning, the casting machine is never waiting for the slurry. It's a very robust system and you can change over between traditional high pressure die casting and real casting just by changing the dosing program. With real casting we are using standard alloys, both secondary and primary, depending on the functionality of the part produced. As you can see, the tool are almost exactly the same as conventional die casting. The only difference is the gating system. It is slightly bigger compared to conventional die casting. Otherwise, the tools are exactly the same. We use the same type of steel, we use the same type of hardening, and basically the same type of design of the tool. So what are the similarities and differences between real casting and high pressure die casting? You use pretty much the same casting machine, but in general a smaller one compared to high pressure die casting. And the robot for metal handling are the exactly same standardized robots? The same standard furnaces as you use in high pressure die casting. And the tools are pretty much the same? The alloy are a standard alloy. The difference is that you add a slurry maker, that's the only difference. With the slurry maker there's a wider range of possible alloys to cast. So as you can see, it's not much of a difference. The only thing you do is add a slurry maker and then you can do real casting. But this does not exclude high pressure die casting. You can still use your machine for conventional high pressure die casting as well. 